All right, in this video, I'm gonna try and finish off the short block. I think this is the right oil pan gasket uh, windage tray combo that I need. So let me get this out of the package and kind of compare it. I'm gonna pull the pickup tube off. Okay, now we can kind of compare them side by side. There's a little bit of a design difference in them, uh, but overall they look fairly similar. And now we can see how this new one lays down on here. But I can feel that it's hitting on some stuff in here. I'm just not sure if it's any of the rotating assembly stuff or not. I want to rotate the crank around and see. Okay, so it doesn't appear to be hitting anywhere on the rotating assembly, but it doesn't fit all the way flush on the block. It just kind of lifts off. Even when I push down on it, it doesn't seem to fit the rotating assembly. I'm just not sure what it's touching on. It appears like it's uh, just touching on a little bit of like the main cap here, which is fine, and the sides of the block, which is also fine. So I'm gonna say that's good, clearance-wise. Now I'm gonna put it in the oil pan and see how that fits. Okay, so now I got the oil pan here, and I figured it'd be easier to see uh, where it's touching uh, by putting it in the oil pan. Okay, the only areas that I see that it might be touching is, is this area, these two areas right here. So I'm gonna notch those out with a Dremel. They go up against uh, this raised area and see how it fits up for that. Okay, so I just use a Dremel with kind of a long fitting and uh, opened up these two holes uh, on the back. Okay, now it seems like this tab right here is not allowing it to come uh, far enough over to be centered in the bolt hole, so I'm gonna cut that little tab off. Okay, I cut that tab off. So it fits now. That actually seems to fit really well now. All the bolt holes line up. I'm gonna put this back on the engine block. All right, now we'll see how the dipstick tube fits on there. That actually fits really well. There's a cutout for it and everything in the, in the windage tray. It's perfect. I don't feel it touching on anything. So I'm going to go ahead and put some oil on here on this O-ring. And hoping that this is the last time the dipstick tube, or I'm sorry, the uh, pickup tube goes on. Okay, everything looks good here. Everything, uh, the, the pickup tube is tight. I haven't torqued it yet, but uh, it's snug down. I'm gonna check the, uh, the pickup tube to pan clearance again one last time. Okay, now I get a measurement of our ball here. It's right at about a half an inch, a little bit less, which is uh, perfect for me. Now I'm gonna torque these pickup tube bolts to 100 inch pounds. And I'm going to torque this back one to 20 foot pounds. Now we can put the oil pan on. And I got 10 of these M8 by 125 by 30 millimeter bolts to put in it. I'm also using M8 lock washers. Now when I snug these down, I'm going to work from the inside out, so I'll do the middle ones and I'll go out and then kind of go like that. These I'm going to torque to 15 foot-pounds. Right, one thing I just noticed is there's a little bit of a dimple right here on this pan. Uh, you want to make sure that it's nice and flat, because uh, that's where the pickup tube is sitting. So I'm going to pull this, uh, this pan off and kind of just uh, massage that back the other way. Okay, down inside here, I can see how it's somewhat raised. I'm going to put that portion on a rag. And with the bottom part of the hammer, I'm going to see if I can get that thing to go the other way. Okay, that seems a lot better. It's a lot more flat. I'm going to check the uh, pickup tube clearance one more time. And we're right at a half an inch all the way around, which is perffect. So I like to put them at a half an inch uh, because once the pan is sucked down, it's gonna 
it's going to come down a little bit more so it's going to be a little less than a half an inch but if you need to adjust the height you can do so with either washers above or below uh, this mounting point right here so i'll go ahead and put the pan back on okay so now the oiling system is done uh, one place you really want to watch out for is this area right here your oil pan uh, I've seen uh, cars come in where the they've bottomed out and they've hit that bottom of the oil pan It pushes it right up into the pickup tube starves the engine of oil uh, and uh, And burns it up uh, Usually spins a bearing so keep an eye on this area of your oil pan and uh, the last thing I need to do is put the uh, The rear seal on there, but I'll put that on once it comes off to get loaded up in the truck. Thanks for watching